Okay, so... Uh, are we rolling? We are rolling. Um, so we... Hello! This is actually Monday rather than Sunday. Tell me why. I don't like Monday. So. <laughs> yeah. It's because it's washing day. Yeah, washing day. <laughs> Busy mm. day for me. So we went to the car boat sale yesterday and then we were... It and was Saturday. And Saturday. And it was really cold uh, yesterday. So cold. Um, I mean, stupidly, I put shorts on. Still. I mean, it was. It's still April, isn't it? It's still April, but. But it's a cold April. Yeah. It was glorious blue sky and sunshine. I mean, it looked beautiful. And yeah. It was good to be outside, and it was good to be see all the people outside. Yeah, and absolutely. Milling and a, a sense of normality. It, it felt. Oh felt my good. goodness! It, it was, was just... so cold. So you had my hat on with my hood up over the top of my hat because my ears were frozen. I had to go back to the car and get my fleece and put on. Um, <laughs> and you've got shorts but, on. And I had shorts on. Your legs just, were suffering, just, weren't they? They were. Um, and it was so cold that part of the way around, it's like, oh, we've got to have some donuts. So we had some hot, hot donuts, donuts. Hot donuts to try and warm us up. And then, <laughs> so we burned our hands and our mouths on yeah. the donuts because we weren't going to wait. <laughs> and, and then we went round and did some more, and then it was a case of more donuts at the end. So we had some more donuts at the end as well. Um, yeah, yeah, hot donuts. I think you got got round most of it, didn't you? Because yeah. unfortunately, because I'm disabled, I have to keep sitting down, which is why I take the wheelie walk with me because it's basically a chair that I push around so that I can have a. A sit down. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you wanted to go off one bit because you said you weren't going to make it round. So I, I kind of had a, um, I ha had the trolley with us this time, and um, ran around with the trolley, uh, just and to it's, just it's to see. It's all about strategy, isn't it? I yeah. mean, do you go to the cars that have been there the longest, and been set up the longest, which means <laughs> that more people have been to their stalls first, or do you cut straight to the end to the cars that are just arriving? And become one of those dreadful people who are trying to dive in. Trying to dive in, but yeah. Well, st I used to hate that when I did car boot sales myself. You know that. I mean, I think really it, it depends. Depends whether you think that you're going to be after the same stuff that the other people are after. Um, and yeah, I mean. But the reality is, you just don't know, no. do you? I mean, what I think is a great thing that that could possibly sell some bit uh, yeah there's, there's a lot of people well, who aren't there for, for trying to resell exactly there's... not everybody's a reseller and even those that are resellers we're all kind of have our different niches don't we so yeah. things that you go for maybe somebody else wouldn't and what they're going for you wouldn't uh, and also maybe you both see the same thing but you've got different price points so yeah i mean the thing is at the moment in the way of gaming the only the only games console I have any clue on is the Wii console. Uh, I need to do more on learning about consoles because I think there's a lot of money to be made in consoles if you know the right price points. Um, so I wouldn't have a clue which are the good games and what are the are, are the not good games. Um, and there's so many consoles. So, but anyway, should we have a look at what we got? Well, I didn't get much at all, did I? Out of the two days, I oh well, I got a free bag, <laughs> <laughs> which was I wasn't expecting the bag actually. No, but, I mean, it's, it's, and that's a uh, St John's that, ambulance. Uh, oh, St John's ambulance, and that came free because the lady was selling second-hand te tennis balls for twenty p each. So I said, oh well, give us a pound's worth. So I got some balls for the dogs. Um, so it was just five because balls they get lost so yeah, yeah i just and got five like tennis balls. balls and i'm not reselling them they're out they're out well, in fact the dogs have already put their mark on it they're looking rather <laughs> furry <laughs> chewed so um well I, I bought some more bits um i forgot what order i got things in um so uh, um some of these bits I kind of bought thinking for me. Um, yeah, so a lot of stuff that I wanted for me, but the whole point of me doing reselling is to get rid of stuff. Yeah, get more stuff for me. So, so I resisted. Hard. However, I, I, I do. I am running out of shoes. I go through shoes quite quickly, and uh, so I thought I'd get these. I thought these look quite nice. 
What brand are they? Um, the brand is Rock Hoppers. And that's um, the brand that you wear anyway, isn't it? Uh, well, I, no, it? I've never had Rock Hopper, but I'm, but I'm aware of them. But they look um, very yeah. And they look very sporty kind of me. Well, they look like trainers that you don't have to bother with the laces. Yeah. Because you never do, do you? However, um, I saw that they were eight and I, I'm kind of more of an eight and a half. <laughs> I told him. <laughs> <laughs> I told him at the time. He picked it up and I said, what size are they? And he said eight. And I said, a little bit yeah, small. Yeah, I'm an eight, eight and a half tonight. And, and I... I can fit in them, but my toes just feel like, <laughs> ow! So luckily... Well, they're, they're not glass slippers, are they? Luckily, they are in really good, really yeah, good condition. Yeah, they're really nice condition if you want to sell them on. So I will be selling these on. I paid a fiver. Um, I've got a feeling I should be able to uh, ask 20, 30 quid for them, possibly. Have you looked them up? Uh, yeah. Um, so how much were they new-ish? Well, I didn't see the new price yet. I was only flicking through just, but th th there's profit to be made in them. Um, so even if I sell them for fifteen quid, yeah, don't put them on the table. That'll though. be that'll be all good. So that's that was... superstition. I don't know why, but my dad would never have shoes on the table, I so think we it's won't either. Fair enough. Um, so next, um, you know, uh, a couple of videos ago, you would have seen that I picked up some Nikon binoculars. Um, and um, kind of feeling the binoculars at the moment, so I picked up and just happened to see these binoculars. Um, so these are what's the brand? Miranda. Miranda. I mean, I've got I've actually got another pair of They're of, eight Mar by 21s. of Miranda binoculars, um, that I've had since I was, I was a kid, made in China. Um, but they're not bad. Um, and I think I paid two pounds for them. Uh, I think like the Nikon, they're they're really nice, nice and, and compact. Small. Um, I think they only go for about fifteen quid, but from two quid to fifteen quid, that's you know that, that, that's a little bit of money in it, a little bit of profit. Yeah, because my binoculars, I think I stopped taking out because they were just too big. Yeah, I mean that is a nice comfortable little size isn't it yeah. pop them in a handbag or something or pop it so i think about 15 i have a nice little look they're not too bad i'm hoping about 15 quid um so i then there was then these pocket binoculars now these are really old style really old kind of binoculars um, um i did tell you I think they're opera glasses, aren't opera they? Opera glasses. Well, they're called pocket glasses. Are they? Pocket binoculars. Oh. They may be used for opera. They've got a lovely little action. Yeah, I think I think they're the sort that you used to take to the, uh, yeah. the theatre with you so that you could see. So, they're, they're quite nice. Now, um... There's not a great deal of money in it. I mean, I, I got these for a pound. And I think at the moment they're selling on eBay for about £4.50. Something like that. So there's not a lot in them, but I picked them but up. I, nice I didn't know. Um, so may, maybe, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven quid, something like that. From Actually, pounds. they're not that old because um, it's got 2.5 by 25 millimetres. In millimetres. And, you know... It wouldn't have been millimetres. In old money, it wouldn't be millimetres, would it? So, but they... Anyway. So there should be a little bit in them, but not a lot. Um, but I just kind of thought, well, it's worth giving it a little go. If uh, if they don't sell and for they've much... they've got that retro feel about They've got them, a retro so feel, yeah. Nice little box and whatever. Yeah, at least these are actually in the box and that, so... Uh, so that's good. Now Jan's going to talk to you quickly whilst I open the door for uh, one of the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you didn't do it at the same time it as me. Look, we had to do it. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so the next thing I um, saw there was a whole load of books on the floor, and well, pretty much everything was on the ground. It was yeah. so windy that. 
all the dress rails were falling over um, and the other thing that I found quite irritating is that with the COVID regulations is they've put um, a, a string what do you call it? Um, a line, a, a, a rope line, line, rope yeah. line across, and the only people that are allowed to cross that line are the sellers, which means that you can't. Well, nobody told me that, over. so I haven't got a clue. I just did whatever I wanted to. Right. I mean, nobody said that you had to do anything. So uh, anyway, <laughs> that's just how you roll. <laughs> well, if you don't actually tell me what you want, and and then it's a case of and then I you. got. He told me off because I was going up. The... Well. Yeah, I mean, everybody's coming down this way and the other line seems to be going way that way because there's a one-way system. <laughs> and and Jan wants to go the against flow, the flow. But then I've always swum against the tide. Yeah, so. but it's just not easy. Anyway, got some books. So but I wasn't the only one. No. You came with me. <laughs> I came with you. <laughs> oh, no. I oh, know, I oh, know. Anyway, the books. So the bit that I spotted on the book was that it said city and guilds and that if it was a city and guilds book it's part of a course um so i figured there's probably quite there's probably it's probably costs quite a bit and it actually this book is, is it got a cover price um couldn't see it on it's this one it's the official guide to body massage yeah official book guide to body massage um second edition second edition um i think you're about 40 quid uh, I paid one pound fifty. Um, I've got a feeling I could probably sell that for between ten to fifteen pounds. Um, so to go with that, there is then a, um, an holistic guide to reflexology. Yeah. Uh, again, these are all one pound fifty. So so we've got that one. Then there is. Um, a holistic guide, guide to, to massage from beginner to advanced level and beyond uh, I'm, th I'm thinking that I should be able to get 10 quid on each of these at least to be quite honest I'd put them all together in a bundle and sell them for 50 or 60 because somebody going into this sort of thing well I don't know I'll see what I feel like I might just stick is, them on the end of it um, uh, Hanson Sports Therapy. Oh, hands on, not Hanson. Hands on uh, hands Sports on Therapy. Sports therapy. So it's like sports massage and things. So I'm probably only going to stick them on individually because you can charge, might be able to charge more for the postage then. They can individually post it or. I don't know. Well, I just thought uh, it'd probably be cheaper to post as a job lot, wouldn't it? I don't know. Comment below. Anyway, comment below. See what you think. Um, and then there's that, the official guide to body massage. One of these is a um, there's a first edition type of thing, and then there's a second edition. I think one was the same. That was the first one, I think. Yeah, the first so one. That's the same author, Adele O'Keefe. Yeah. And that one, isn't it? Is that the one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, first and second edition are top so, and bottom. Yeah. So we've got those. So um, you know, I'm hoping that there's or well, what was uh we've got five books that's seven pound fifty, I think. No, hang on. Uh yeah, seven fifty. Is it seven fifty? If you pay one fifty each. One fifty each, yeah. yeah so on that and I'm hoping that there should be fifty quid sat there um because you know shop price that's probably a good hundred pounds worth of books yeah. there so if somebody's doing the course and needs those books for that's it that's what i was thinking and that that's what i was thinking with these books what i you know so, so far i've been selling my plumbing books from doing my plumbing courses and they're books that are i mean they're expensive they're to buy and they're required reading, reading for, for a course and if you've got stuff that's required 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 reading for a course it's not like people have an option you have to get them and um it's not like other books it's just a standalone well, there's two and more things neil's new nickname is mr meccano man yes um so 
I bought the other Meccano, you see it on the other films. Um, and I saw this and it's, uh, so it's the um, Meccano Army Multi-Kit. I'll say it again. Meccano Army Multi-Kit Book of Models. That's the, the book and it's, uh, I've got a second book and some stickers there. Are they different books or are they both They're the same? They're both the same but one's better quality than the other. Um, some of these already obviously started uh, uh, making some of this. So we seem to have a trailer and we have, have a little truck. With uh, um, a winchy thing on the back of it. Some done. kind of winchy thing um, and then there's um, There's a whole load of other stuff in there. Obviously, I've got the free basket with it. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a whole load load of stuff there. Now the thing is, I don't really know exactly <laughs> anything about Meccano. anything. Well, I have Meccano, but I have no idea about selling it and what it's actually worth. And the other thing is, like you know. What I've now got to find out is, do I dismantle this all and put it all into um, pieces so that it, it, I just show a list of pieces, or do I Because my these? feeling is that the joy of Meccano is building it yourself, so I would personally photograph it built and then take it down into its component parts and sell it as a kit. I hope that is the right way to do it, because it's going to be fun finishing it, but anybody um, who can advise us on Meccano and... Yeah, on, on you know, is the, is the thing to do to finish it and, and then dismantle it. Um, you've also got the thing of, I'm thinking possibly if there is something where you've got stickers... Yeah. Um, to, uh, to finish it, but without the stickers to give the person... I mean, yeah, obviously no. this has been used... Um, Let whoever buys it stick the stickers stick on. Stick the they stickers want on. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm not really sure. Or or do I? Do you make it up to prove that all the bits are there and, and sell it at, as a made up thing? But then when well, it's a multi kit, you're going to have spares. I don't know so. that I'd make it up completely. I would photograph it as it is. Yeah. And then take it apart. Yeah, and then. How do I box it? Or is is the money? I mean, it, if it's not <coughs> if it's not a complete set, which there's a good chance that there's some missing, do I just sell the individual parts? I would, because you you've been getting quite a few bits of Meccano. I yeah. would put it all together and sell it as a huge job lot. Yeah, I, I'm not convinced on you. that one. Well, I don't know. If anybody else is doing anything with Meccano, can you let us know what you please, think about Meccano? What you're doing, and, and give us some advice because we haven't got a clue. Well, yeah, that's my catchphrase. Isn't haven't it? We got haven't a got clue. a clue. Um, so that's the Meccano, and then I think there was just one more thing that I came across, and this one is, is definitely for me. Um, there was this little bag, and uh, it wasn't, or right, it wasn't as a little bag. No, it was all out on the it side. Was, it was all out on the side. Um, on one so, of the few tables that were standing. Um, so, if you guys haven't heard yet, I do ride electronic mountain boards and a, um, and a one wheel. Which um, is... Uh, a board with just the one wheel, big fat wheel in the middle. It's a go kart wheel. Go across to Escape Monster and you can see what he does. Yeah. So, but the thing is with that is when you're riding and. Um, Have you linked your YouTube channel? No, I haven't done any of that yet. We're going to do that at another time. So, uh, and obviously, Anne Jan's channel, which is Purple Jan. Purple Jan. Um, Tales from a Broken Brain. So, it's a pair of goggles. Um, I'll actually look even, here we go, pair of goggles, and you think why on earth do you want a pair of goggles? Well when you're riding at any kind of speed like you would on a push bike or uh, anything like that, uh, flies, flies in your eyes, 
um, really important to you know zooming along and then suddenly you get a fly in the eye you suddenly have to stop uh, it's quite dangerous if you're doing 30 mile an hour on a board um, you have to keep your mouth shut as well, don't you? You or do. Would you wear a mask well, <laughs> or eat the sky rays. That's just, that's just called lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I saw these, um, and they've uh, obviously the yellow is ideal for riding at night. Um, or the snow. Or the snow. Yeah. Um, but they also have spare lenses. Um, two boxes of spare lenses. One of the spare lenses is for um ha has a has a sun um filter. has a sun filter that's the that's the normal clear and uh here we go and here we have the um does it say what brand it is on any yes it boxes? does it's uh and then Advanced that's, a V12 lens pod. Oh, that's what this is. But, yeah. And so I suppose that's the Advanced V12 then, is it? Well, it's no. The actual company brand is um, ESS, and ESS actually. Um, when I was speaking to the guy about these, he was saying that they're um, absolutely brilliant for airsoft, for people who play airsoft. All right. Um. Which you don't know, airsoft. It's a bit like paintball, but it is a like six millimeter bit, um, a, a plastic BB that you fire at each other. You run around the field and have fun, uh, a bit like paintball. But um, yeah, you need eye protection, so you can use these for it. And looking at the um, um, ESS, they actually make eye protection for ballistics. Um, so for arm, army, and uh, anyone, anyone that that's shooting stuff they actually do that um, um eye, eye protection for that um and they also do sunglasses as well but it's i think it's an american brand and it, i think it looks quite a good brand i mean some of their stuff is hundreds of pounds um mm -hmm. i'll say it, it it's it's bullet some but of it is ballistic you're not going to be grade. selling these on that's a no, for you, isn't not it? selling these on the, this is going to be for me and my riding and i got them for a fiver um so yeah i think they're quite good yeah um so yeah really uh, it's it's a, the thing the thing about car boot sales is um is you never know what you're gonna no, see like there was a wakeboard wasn't there yeah yeah just a random wakeboard just sat there and i had no idea didn't that bother asking we're not near the coast so that's a bit odd but but uh but i guess so well no because the thing is with wakeboarding you can actually do it on a lake Although thinking about it, it was um, Hickstead, wasn't it? And they're halfway to the coast, so they're not as yeah. far in there. It could as we have been are. easily been people from oh, Brighton. My brain's not working so. today. So anyway, that not is. Not that it works any day. That is all of my uh, all of my items for all his goodies. Sunday. I'll uh, say so this is this is Monday because we were just exhausted. It was cold. It was, we just came exhausted. in. So it's. Um, yeah, we just decided to, In fact, to do I it today. Just nod off now. Just nod off. No, don't just nod off now. <laughs> Come on, we have to finish the end of the film. You have to say. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys on the next I'm just, one. I'm just shattered. I really am. Yeah. Oh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit oh, that hit bell, the bell for the notifications the of the new films. And if we're saying anything that you think is is interesting then do comment or if it's utter nonsense tell us tell us it's nonsense yes because uh because we... as i say on my channel all the time we have i haven't got a clue what i'm doing no. so <laughs> we're know, really help, new at all this and um well actually no we're not we're not new at boot sailing we've been doing boot sailing for well, yeah we've, we've been doing well since and before we knew each other been doing film but it's also. always been buying for ourselves and you know our normal thing in the car on the way to a boot sale was what are we looking out for today you know what is it that you want to get you know we'll yeah. have whatever random thing it is that we decided that we're going to look out for and but the new thing is this channel as resellers um and about doing the car boot sale and and the about doing the stuff to sell um not knowing necessarily yeah. what things are worth and 
even going back to when we've been off on camping holidays and things, if we saw a boot sale, we'd always, even on oh, holidays, absolutely. shoot off to the boot sale. You know, sale. we've been doing boot sales for 20 odd years, haven't we? And buy stuff. So, which is why we've got a house full of stuff. Uh, yeah, which we try to sell. Um, so I suppose we. In a way, we were just building up stock before we ever knew. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, there's plenty of stock. And and then we go to the garage and uh, start there. Well, um, stock. So, um, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this and we will catch you guys on the next one. Yep.